and I'm going to go ahead and complete a series of lunges. Now in DecaFit, you'll be doing 30 reverse lunges total, 15 per leg. Okay, so I'm showing you a demonstration. Gentle knee tap to the floor, come all the way up tall, 30 lunges is what you complete. After you've now pre-gassed or pre-loaded your legs, you must now utilize them here in the row machine. People think that rowing might be upper body because you're pulling a chain, when in actuality, 60% of rowing is through the leg. Good afternoon, friends. PC here at Gravity and Oxygen Fitness in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Coming to you with another edition of Turf Talk Tuesday. That's right. Today we're going to talk about DecaFit. What exactly is it? How do you prepare for it? And when are we hosting our next event? Let's talk about it. So DecaFit was started by two fitness colleagues of ours, Yancey and Jared, and they've now become part of the Spartan Race family. If you're familiar with the Mud Obstacle Course Race, Spartan Race. So they've launched this 10 zone workout gauntlet and your time to completion is a factor or measurement of your personal conditioning. So over the past year and a half, it has grown exponentially nationwide and us as Boca Raton affiliates of the DecaFit program are now going to host our second annual DecaWeen workout event here on October 30th. It's a Saturday. We're going to be hosting Deca Mile where amidst the 10 exercises, you'll be running a tenth of a mile between each exercise for a total of one mile by the time you've completed the course. So as we're uh, five weeks away, we're going to be hosting a Deca Lift program in preparation for that. It is open to both members and non-members alike here in East Boca Raton at Gravity and Auction. And today I'm going to do a demonstration of all the zones of DecaFit. Okay? If you happen to have a MyZone, if you notice I'm holding my MyZone case, the heart rate device company, it's a great way to gain effort points as MyZone and the DecaFit family have merged forces to go ahead and quantify your overall fitness. All right? So let's talk about the zones. All right, it's a mixture of cardiovascular and strength exercises. And as you go through the whole course, it becomes an endurance and stamina situation. So once again, your overall time to completion is a measurement of your fitness level. I'm going to begin here with the first exercise. The first three zones are all about the legs. We're going to toast you up. I'm going to begin now with a weighted barrel. I'm going to place it on my shoulders and I'm going to go ahead and complete a series of lunges. Now in DecaFit, you'll be doing 30 reverse lunges total, 15 per leg. Okay, so I'm showing you a demonstration. Gentle knee tap to the floor, come all the way up tall. 30 lunges is what you complete. After you've now pre-gassed or pre-loaded your legs, you must now utilize them here in the row machine. People think that rowing might be upper body because you're pulling a chain, when in actuality, 60% of rowing is through the legs. So I'm now here, and the prescription in DecaFit is 500 meters, which is almost a third of a mile. Okay, so I'm going to show you here. Rowing is a simple poem. I'm going to use my legs, then arms, arms, legs. All right, so now the heart rate begins to increase as we've now crossed the lunges into a cardiovascular row. All right, the third exercise is now also legs as you have to work with level change and dealing with a box here. So the uh, legal limit is a uh, 25, or excuse me, 24 or 30 inch box height whether you're male or female, and you would have to accomplish 20 step overs, all right, or jump overs, okay? So your choice of intensity, it, once again, based upon how your legs feel coming off the lunges in the row. As, I can tell, as you can tell, my labor's beginning, my breathing's becoming more labored. Can't even create a clear sentence, all right? So you do 20 of these, 10 per side. Now you've done three leg exercises in a row, now you migrate to working on grip, core, and upper body. Keep in mind, the event we're hosting, Deca Mile, is a tenth of a mile run between each zone. So the cardiovascular stress will come quickly with the running involved. All right? Very good. From there, once you've been gripping a medicine ball, you know I have to go into what's called a ski erg. So if rowing is straightening your knees, straightening your back, and bending your elbows, an erg is the exact opposite. Bend your knees. Bend your spine, straighten your elbows. So there's two different versions of doing a ski erg. There's your linear pull, right? Or there's your butterfly, where you're creating that swimming butterfly effect. Using your larger muscles, such as your abdomen, hip flexors, lats, 500 meters, just like the row. Third of a mile, 
Once you've done that, you've now gripped the medicine ball, grip these handles, and then you must migrate to a farmer carry. For men, it's 60 pounds. For ladies, it's 40. You must walk a total of 100 meters. So once you pick it up with good ergonomic form, you're walking 10 meters one way, 10 meters back, total of 20, five laps of that. Now you've completed 100 meters total. By now, your arms begin to fatigue as this is full grip and locomotion. So the dumbbell swing, all right, I'll do one more lap. And now we're beginning to feel a little upper body fatigue. So there's three main cardios besides the run in our event. The run machine, the erg, and now I'm migrating to zone seven, which is the assault bike. All right, the prescription calls for 25 calories. You would make sure that your seat position is at the height for your legs. And now you must achieve 25 calories on the bike. Many people call this zone the deck of wall. Make or break, okay? You can choose to go fast if your conditioning allows for it. Oh, slippy pedal. It was raining today. I'm going to show you five calorie examples. It has to be 25 calories in the actual event. There you go. Slippery pedal. Very good. From there, you've still been using your arms, and now you have to go to a full compound medicine ball over the shoulder. So zone seven, eight, nine, ten, or full compound really gonna challenge you. For men, 60 pound ball, for ladies it's 40. You wanna keep it in proximity to your body, lift it up, over the shoulder. And if you can use enough leg power, chuck it. Two, three, four, and five. From there you go to zone nine, which is a tank, 100 meter push pull. So you must use, to be considered an official decafit, the torque-based tanks, right? There's different levels of resistance on the tank, which makes it a unique special piece of equipment. Notice Dylan is zooming in on the levers. It's a 10 meter push, followed by an immediate 10 meter pull. Five laps, there's your 100 meters. So our trees out here in the backyard are a perfect 10 meters. So we go tree to tree. Lean in, you must face your tank, you can't face away. Now becomes a mechanical reverse toe. Just like so. Five laps, I'm just showing you and demonstrating one of them. The final exercise to really toast you. Yeah. 20 burpees with a weighted barrel. For men, 44 pound barrel. For ladies, 22. All right. So I'm here. All right. You're gonna go down to the floor, chest to barrel. Bring it above your head. One. Two. By the time you've done your full prescription, with the runs, you'll know at the end how challenging and hard it was, but how worth it was as well. One more. Woo. So there you are. There's the full 10 zone gauntlet of Decafit. Our event's gonna incorporate a mile run total in between all the events. October 30th, Saturday from 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. You'll be able to reserve your slot on active.com. We'll have the link for you. We're gonna also have a one month long training preparation course starting Saturday, October 2nd. We'll also send you information for that as well. <laughs> as I catch my breath, thank you guys for watching our next edition of Turf Talk Tuesday. We hope you guys, we encourage you to sign up for Decafit here at Grabbing Auction. Like we always say, good energy always wins. Have a great day.